it's very difficult to look for the drill bit you need if they are just placed lying together so the solution is to make the drill bit storage in my case I instead of a storage I made a drill bit carrier so that I can uh, move my drill bits uh, in different places inside the house when I'm making repair or outside in the garden when I'm making repairs there so this is how I made it get a piece of wood uh, you have to separate uh, drill bits with uh, hex shank from drill bits with round shanks so this is for my hex shank drill bits the one with hexagon shanks this one is for my uh, round shank drill bits now if you would notice uh, these are just old PVC pipes I cut the reason I have small ones is that if I place the small ones here they usually get hidden together with the big ones so uh, the small ones will enable you to see them immediately they won't get buried together with the big ones so the small ones are here this is a PVC plug instead of throwing it away I just drilled holes so that, I, so that I can place the small drill bits there so this is a mixture of uh, one uh, PVC plug drainage plug and then this is I think 3 inches in diameter and then uh, these are just uh, things I saw uh, in my storage area I just cut them at random sizes here initially I was trying to be careful at uh, making the spacing uniform but later on I wanted to finish it right away I just eyeballed it there's one <laughs> over here so. anyway it need not be uniform what's important is that uh, you can store your drill bits with hexagon shanks upright so that you can immediately see the size you need here the small ones go here the bigger ones go there the nice thing about PVC is that uh, it's friendly with uh, mighty band or super glue so uh, you can use super glue in gluing them here now as handles I just place the bracket here the bracket goes under so I touched one handle over here the other one here here I also use brackets because I noticed that uh, this is one by one uh, wood uh, I'm not very good at uh, making joints so they usually crack somewhere here so what I did was to prevent to prevent the wood from cracking I uh, just use brackets in this manner also on the other side so there I can now place my drill bits instead of them being like this it's hard to look at the size you need here here you can easily see them and get the one you need so my ordinary drill bits with round shanks occupy the PVC pipes these are my countersinks instead of uh, placing them at random arrange them first from smallest to biggest and then that's the time place it here otherwise they will be jumbled and you will still have a hard time looking for them so it should be like a ladder smallest to biggest from left to right or from right to left and then I put my drivers there and my hex shank adapter somewhere there 
So the drill bits are here. Made hexagon uh, chunks or quick release, uh, quick chain system uh, drilling. These are my titanium and cobalt. Uh, some are titanium, some are cobalt. They're all mixed already. Uh, this is multi-purpose uh, drill bits. Use the packet says it can be used for masonry, steel, and wood, but they're not good in using. Uh, they're not good on metal, so I just use them mainly for wood or masonry. For metal and wood, I use this ones. So the ones I use for masonry are here. The ones I use for metal and wood are here. This is, uh, as I've said, uh, supposed to be multi-purpose. That can drill holes in masonry, wood, and metal, but they're not good. Uh, so I'll just limit them to masonry and wood. The dedicated uh, drill bits for steel, like titanium and cobalt, are better to use on steel or stainless steel. So that's it. So I can carry this uh, outside the house or inside the house. So that uh, it's easy to locate the size you need for your particular project.